The major aim of our study was to validate existing risk classifications um, in uh, very old, intensively treated um, acute myeloid leukemia patients and identify uh, genetic markers um, which are associated um, with clinical outcome in this subset of patients. And uh, the background is that acute myeloid leukemia is a, a disease of the elderly with a median age diagnosis of 68 years. And um, the outcome of elderly patients is very poor. Um, advanced age often leads um, to the judgment that um, patients are not fit enough for intensive chemotherapy. This is because of more comorbidi comorbidities or um, um, lower poor, uh, or poor performance status, um, which is found in this um, subset of patients. And uh, this is why there is a yeah, unmet need to find out if there are any factors which predict um, positive outcome on intensive chemotherapy in these patients. We found out that even among elderly intensively treated patients, um, Molecular factors and adverse cytogenetics play an important role and predict inferior um, survival. But on the other hand, um, we have seen that um, patients in the favorable and intermediate groups, according to the ELN and MRC risk classifications, may benefit from intensive chemotherapy. So that if there are no medical contraindications for such a intensive therapy, um, it could be recommended to treat these patients with intensive induction therapy. And further, we found out that IDH1 mutated patients um, um, do not reach complete remission after intensive induction chemotherapy and um, that IDH1 may be a novel marker for inferior prognosis and chemorefractory disease in elderly patients. So we have to... Um, Think about if IDH1 mutated patients will benefit from intensive chemo uh, chemotherapy sheets or if, they, if it would be better to treat these patients with less intensive chemotherapy with a bigger eye on quality of life.